Pope Francis says when we are confused and full of anxiety, we should remember Christ is with us at all times. Nell'ora più tragica, Gesù prova l'abbandono da parte di Dio. In his sermon for Palm Sunday yesterday at the Vatican, the Holy Father says Christ died for us so he could remain by our side forever. He also said ask, he also asked the faithful to pay close attention to those who most resemble Christ in his suffering. As we mentioned, the mass came one day after the Holy Father was released from the hospital. And joining us now is Andres Townhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Andres, talk to us a little bit about Pope Francis celebrating Palm Sunday. So we were all relieved when Pope Francis left the hospital last Saturday. And my family and I, we were here yesterday in St. Peter's Square. There were, according to the Vatican Gender Marie, more than 60,000 faithful who came together to start the Holy Week together with the Holy Father. And um, while one could tell that he was exhausted, that he was weak, he also made it a priority, Eric, to, to greet all the faithful present. He even had the papal car drive out into the Via della Contrazione, which is the big street here leading up to St. Peter's Square. And we usually don't see that, really. It was as if Pope Francis wanted to say thank you to all the people, to all the faithful um, who, who showed up here and uh, who, wished, who wished him well during his days at the Gemelli Clinic and who offered their prayers for him. And he also found strong words in his homily, introducing the mysteries of the Holy Week. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me, Pope Francis said, quoting Jesus' cry on the cross. And he said that this was at the very heart of Christ's passion. It's really this culmination of the sufferings that Jesus endured for our salvation, Pope Francis said. And as Jesus felt abandoned on the cross, we should also remember those who are abandoned today. Pope Francis particularly mentioned one person, a German homeless by name, Burkhard Schaffler was his name, who died last November under the colonnade here in St. Peter's Square. People like him deserve our love, the Holy Father concluded his homily. Mm, beautiful there. You know, many of us Catholics here in the United States, and for that fact around the world, have been praying for him when he was hospitalized. And now that he's out of the hospital, tell us about his medical condition right now. So, as I said, um, he's still a little exhausted, uh, a little bit weak. However, the antibiotic he has received, uh, they really seem to work. And he'd been diagnosed with bronchitis after suffering from respiratory difficulties. When leaving the hospital, the Pope greeted the crowd, gathered outside. There was also a very emotional moment, Eric, that when, when he stopped to embrace and, and he started to pray with a sobbing mother whose five-year-old daughter died in the hospital the mm. night before. And there, uh, asked after his own health condition and how he was feeling, he just said, still alive. Wow. Do we know a little bit more about the schedule for Holy Week and uh, in particular for, for Pope Francis as he continues to recover? Well, of course, the, the, the coming days are, are amongst the busiest uh, in the whole year at the heart of the church here. So we still don't know if Pope Francis will be able to preside at any of the eight masses and liturgical celebrations until Easter Monday. However, uh, we can safely assume that he will be present at all of these. On Thursday, for example, he's supposed to go to a juvenile prison at the outskirts of Rome. He was there 10 years ago celebrating his first Holy Thursday liturgy as a pontiff. Again, also this year, he will wash the feet of the young inmates. And on Friday, there's the traditional Via Crucis, the Stations of the Cross at the Colosseum. The Easter Vigil will be celebrated in St. Peter's Basilica and the Easter Sunday Mass outside here in the square, followed by the special apostolic blessing, Urbi et Orbi, the city and the world. Uh, just Eric. a beautiful time for us Catholics as we uh, continue to celebrate Holy Week. Andres, thank you so much. Thank you so much again for being with us. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief, uh, thanks a lot.